What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to easily set up MAME in the new LaunchBox 8.6 or higher. So recently 8.6 was released and it added a new feature. I'm going to go to Tools, Import, MAME Arcade Full Set Importer. This makes importing, organizing, and playing your MAME games easier than ever. I've tested a lot of stuff out there. I've messed around with a lot of front ends and I can tell you right now that the new LaunchBox update here is the easiest way to mess around with MAME. So I already have mine imported here. I do have a separate install of LaunchBox with no arcade games in it. I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up. It's really easy to do. But first up, I wanna show you the playlist that LaunchBox can automatically create for you. So here we have a ton of different playlists. As you can see, racing games, puzzle games, platform games, pinball, maze games, um, Data East Classics, fighting games, flying games, there's just so much here in MAME. Now, for my platform, I'm using Arcade. These are all MAME games. I have 2,347 MAME games here that work. All right, so first thing you're going to need to do is download LaunchBox and install it. This works with the free version or the premium version. It's really up to you. You can buy a year license for $20 or a lifetime license for $50. The premium version comes with Big Box and it's a beautiful interface to sort all of your arcade games out. But overall, LaunchBox is free to use and this MAME importer works in the free version. The next thing we're going to need to do is head over to mamedev.org. We need to download MAME. Links for everything will be in the description. We're going to scroll down a little bit. LaunchBox only works for Windows, so we're going to download the Windows version. There's two here. We have a 32-bit EXE or a 64-bit. If you're running a 32-bit operating system, download 32. If you're running 64, download the 64. I'm running a 64-bit operating system, so I'll be downloading the 64-bit. And finally, the main thing you're going to need here are some MAME games. So do some searching online. Archive.org does have MAME sets available. I have MAME. 0.201 ROMs split. If you look around on the internet for MAME sets, you'll see merged, split, or non-merged. This will work with either three of those. I personally prefer using split because it's easier to update down the road. Inside of here, there's a bunch of different zip files. These are all of the MAME games. Now, if you want to use CHD-based games, you just place your CHDs right in here with your games. Like I mentioned, if you do some quick Google searching, you can find any MAME set you ever want to find. They're all out there. This one here is split, and I think it's about 56 gigabytes, 62. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my MAME folder, the application we downloaded. It's a self-contained EXE. When you double click on it, it'll self-extract, and it'll look something like this. I'm going to open this. Drag it over to the left hand side and I'm going to open up my MAME ROM set, my split MAME ROM set. I'm going to copy everything that's in this ROM set here. I'm just going to click on the very first one, control A, it's going to select everything and I'm going to place it in my MAME directory, the application we just downloaded. After you extract it, you'll see ROMs. I'm going to place everything right in here. It's going to take a little while to copy over. If you want to store your ROMs in a different location, you will have to mess around with the MAME INI file. I find it just easier to put them in the MAME folder. Alright, so now we have all of our MAME ROMs in our MAME ROMs folder. We're going to have a single MAME folder like this. Inside of here, there's the MAME EXE. We don't even have to touch this. LaunchBox is going to go ahead and sort everything out for us. I'm going to back up. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it in my LaunchBox directory just for easy access. So I'm going to find my LaunchBox directory. This is usually located on your C drive, users, username, LaunchBox. I have mine on a separate drive because I got a ton of stuff in here. Now I'm just going to take my whole main folder and place it in my LaunchBox directory. It's going to be located in here. In case I want to move my LaunchBox build, I don't have to reconfigure anything at all. Now it's time to start up LaunchBox get MAME set up and import our games. I'm just going to start LaunchBox here. From the drop down menu, we're going to go to Tools, 
manage emulators. We're going to add an emulator. Emulator name is going to be MAME. We can use the drop down menu, find MAME in here. Now we need to set the emulator application path. We're going to browse and we're going to navigate to where we placed our MAME folder, which is going to be in our LaunchBox directory. MAME. From here, we're going to find MAME EXE. Mine's MAME64.exe. Yours might be MAME32.exe. Double click. Associated platforms, arcade. Make sure this is checked and click OK. We can close it down. It's now time to import our games. I have over 2,000 games that I need to import and LaunchBox has to download all of the artwork for me, so it's going to take a little while. Drop down menu, tools, import, MAME Arcade Full Set. Go ahead and read through this. This is the MAME Arcade Full Set Wizard. It's really easy to use. We're going to click Next. What would you like to call your arcade platform? Sticking with Arcade is fine, but you can name it MAME if you'd like to. I'm going to stick with Arcade. Next. Please enter the folder path of your MAME ROMs. Remember, we place them in our MAME folder under ROMs. We need to find that directory. Browse. MAME. ROMs. It's going to take a second because LaunchBox has to scan through that directory and there's like 32,000 files in there, I think. When it's done, click OK. We've now set our ROM folder. Click Next. Choose an emulator. MAME should be chosen because we just set it up. If it's not, use the drop down, choose MAME. Next. Would you like to download metadata for your games? That's really why we use LaunchBox. Of course we would. I recommend leaving the first one checked here. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. That's another big reason we use LaunchBox. It's going to download all of the artwork we need for each one of these games. Click Next. So I use EMU Movies. It is free to use. You can sign up for a free account or you can donate to them. It's totally up to you. But it does allow you to download some really awesome videos. So I do have a paid membership over there. I mean, it's, it's totally up to you if you want to sign up or not. Next. So this is where it gets good. How would you like to filter your games? Import clones as additional apps. I'm going to leave that checked. Region to prioritize. Now even though I'm in the US, I always choose world. You can choose North America, Europe, Japan, or world. It's up to you. I'm going to prioritize the world games. Down here, all of these are checked. You want to skip fruit games, skip casino games, skip rhythm games. If there's something you want in here, you can uncheck it. If you want all of these games imported, go ahead and uncheck them. It's really up to you. There's quiz games, bootleg, and there's even some mature games. Create playlists for main subcategories. Yes, I want to leave that checked because that's going to give me a CPS 1, CPS 2, CPS 3, Williams Classics, and so on and so on. I'll leave that checked. Create playlists for two and four player games. I'm going to leave that checked. And create playlists for genres like beat em ups, racing games, fighting games, etc. There's tons of stuff here, so I recommend leaving this checked also. We're just going to click Next. And here's all the games that we're about to import. If you want to read through here, you can, but there's just way too many. Click Finish. LaunchBox has to search for all the metadata, all the artwork. It's going to pull everything off the internet and download it for us. I always just turn sleep off, turn my monitor off, and walk away. Alright, after a few hours, everything should import correctly. Over on the left-hand column, you should now have an arcade section. And here are all the arcade games that we just imported. 2,347 arcade games. If you unchecked all the casino stuff, I don't really know how many are going to import, but it's going to be well over 3,000. If you scroll down the list, you can find a game to play. Just click on X-Men. You'll get a background image 
and you'll also get some information over here. All of this can be customized. You can go ahead and turn this off if you want. You can also rate the game on the Launchbox Games database. There's a lot of stuff in here. We've also automatically created playlists. So if we go to playlist, you can see we have a ton to choose from. Atari Classics, Board and Card Games, Beat 'em Ups, Ball and Paddle, Fighting Games, Flying Games, Light Gun Games, Konami Classics, Maze Games, Midway Classics. I'm going to go back to Platform, Arcade, and I'm going to find something to play. I'll show you how to set up your controller real quick. By the way, this is the only issue you're ever going to have with MAME now, is trying to find a game to play. Like, there's just so many great games here. I'll go with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Double click. Or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can use controller automation. Use your controller to navigate to it and start the game from there. It's going to start up MAME for us. So I'm using an Xbox One controller connected to my PC here. Most of these games are already set up. They're ready to go. But if you run into a game that the controller is not set up in, grab your keyboard, press tab. You have input general. That's just going to be for the main interface. And that's usually never really messed around with. And input this machine. Press enter. So from here we have P1, which is player 1. P2, which is player 2. P3, which is player 3, and P4. So the main buttons that we need to worry about are our movement buttons. Up, down, left, right. Button 1 and 2 for our attacks. Coin. That'll be coin 1 for player 1. And sometimes these games require a start button. But this game doesn't. You're going to use one of your action buttons. So for my coin, I'm just going to navigate to it. Press enter on my keyboard. Press select on my controller. So it's set up as select now. When I press select on my controller, it's going to insert a coin. We're going to go up to the very top and map our action and movement buttons. So up, down, left, right, player one button one, player two button two. Press tab to get out of there. Press select to insert some coins. Use one of your buttons to start the game. Now, like I mentioned, some games will require a start button to be mapped. You can use start for that. And you're now playing your favorite main games. It's really as simple as that. The main thing you gotta worry about is mapping your controller correctly per game. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you got main set up now. We have all of our artwork. I'm gonna press escape on my keyboard. That's going to shut down MAME, or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation and use your hotkeys. And that's pretty much it, guys. You now have MAME set up. There's tons of stuff to mess around with in here. You got all of your details over here. And if you do have an EMU Movies account, it downloaded videos. One of the main reasons I use LaunchBox is for Big Box. I'm going to show that to you right now. If you have the premium version, we can start Big Box from here. So here we are with Big Box. The only thing I haven't done yet is change the playlists to like a unified set. As you can see, some of these are a little bit different. But overall, I think this looks good. And this is the unified Redux theme. We can go ahead and switch that and I'll do it real quick. Just to show you, there's tons of themes to download over on the LaunchBox forums. I got a lot installed, but I'll show you the default theme which is Critical Zone version 2. Just back up. And here we are. This is the default theme that comes pre-installed with Big Box. Now, I absolutely love the Raspberry Pi and Retro Pi. Don't get me wrong. It's an awesome little setup. But if I want to get into some real good emulation, I'm always going to go back to PC, along with LaunchBox and Big Box. This made MAME so much easier. Trust me, if you've ever tried anything else, this is just going to be a breeze. Downloads all of the artwork. We have a nice clean interface. We can go through and choose our game. We can start it up directly from here. Or if you have the premium version, you can use it in Big Box. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, 
Thanks for watching.